Road trip ready. Road trip ready. So we just got to Princeton. Look at this freaking view. I can feel the winds of change. And it's the dog. All packed and ready to go. We're about to leave on the road trip. It's nine o'clock. We were planning on leaving a little earlier, but we just kind of wanted to get a good sleep before driving. So yeah, I'll see you guys on the road. I'm so excited. I really love many road trips like this. They're literally the best. Okay, so we're literally only going to his cabin for a week and I brought a giant, ow. I brought a giant luggage. And the reason why is because we only have small or large luggages. Like we literally don't even have like medium ones. So I had to bring this jumbotron, but it actually worked out really well because one side I have all my clothing, hoodies, and everything big, and then the other side is just like my toiletries, things I wanted to bring, random things that don't include clothing. So it actually worked out well that I could put it like all in my suitcase instead of bringing like a separate bag for everything. But yeah, it's kind of ridiculous, but that's all we had, so. <laughs> Can I get hey, could I get a large coffee with um, two sugars and almond milk, please? Can I please get a medium caramel iced coffee with almond milk, please? Yeah, awesome, thanks. Thank you, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Thank, thank you. Thank you. I just meant beautiful, not thank you, beautiful. You said thank you, beautiful? Because I always say beautiful when somebody gives me something. I was like, thank you, and then I said beautiful right after, so it's <laughs> like... Thank you, beautiful. We need to do a taste test because this turns out different every single time I order it. Road trip ready. Road trip ready. Got a farmer's wrap because I need to, I was gonna go to Popeyes and I know I usually stay away from meat, but I was just like craving Popeyes. So once in a while it's fine. They're not opening until 11 and there's literally no Popeyes near my house. So that's why I wanted it so bad, but that's on until like half an hour. So I was like, whatever, I'll just get to Prince. So. We're here now. Oh. Let's go. Now this is a real long haul. So we're just stopped literally on the side of the road because Joel needs to take a piss. <laughs> He's pissing right now in the bush and I'm right on the side of the highway. Actually, there's like a big gap here, so it's fine. I'm safe. I'm bear, bear, bear. Joel! I'm kidding. <laughs> Joel! I thought it was like running at you. What the hell? That's not even funny. Like I almost had a heart attack. <sighs> like I seriously thought that a bear was running at you because you started running. Joel, that is not funny. I literally just died. I literally just had a heart attack. Like my heart is like beating 10 miles per hour. I'm just gonna come here and see the pretty flowers because these are really nice. Literal sucker. That's me. Like I, Joel. Like I'm still like shaking. You were actually that scared. Yes, because I thought it was running at you. Because you, you started. Well, running. I was the one the bear was chasing. I'm the one who should be scared. Like I don't think you know. Like I'm literally like still shaking. Like I'm literally shaking right now. I got so scared right there. I hate you. It's like a jump scare. It's like a. It's like a horror. Movie. God. Anyways. Woo! Road trip, baby. I hate you. <laughs> So we just got to Princeton and how far are we from the cabin? Like 45 minutes. We're like 45 minutes ish away from the cabin. So we're just gonna stop in town. We gotta get a couple of things here. Filling up on gas. The gas is so much cheaper than where we live. Like the gas here is a dollar forty-five and the gas at home is one seventy. So it's a big difference. So I wanted to wait until we got here to fill up. But yeah, how long were we driving for? Like three and a half hours? 
hours? Probably. Like about maybe three hours. Maybe. Three to three and a half hours we were on the road. Damage is 40 bucks for half a tank. Not too bad, I guess. So it's the next day and it's morning. We woke up late, it's 10 o'clock. It's so relaxing here. I'll give you guys a bit of a cabin tour later. But yeah, last night we went on a boat ride and the lake is literally glistening right now. It's so pretty. And this cabin has so much character to it and it feels so much like a cabin, if that makes sense. Like it's such a cabin vibe here. And the stars last night were insane. I think Joel's mom left me some coffee, so I'm gonna have it. I want to make some paper cup. I brought up my silk creamer because there's just nothing like it. Like, I just love it so much because then I don't need to add sugar. It has sugar and cream. One, it's the best. I'm going to heat it up though. It's kind of cold because I waited a long time. Oh, yeah, it's definitely hot. Feeling in my bones, I can feel it in my veins. Hands in the sky, I can feel the winds of change. You live and you learn, and I hope I've seen enough to make something right, make up for what I. How old, but very. <laughs> you have to put wood in it. Yeah. You walk in here. This is where we eat. You know, pretty fancy. And this is my favorite part. So basically, in the morning, you come, you sit, and you enjoy a nice cup of coffee right in front of the beautiful lake view. And then, come through this door. <gasps> Got some you want to come? And there's a little sun room. These are like screens up here. So it's kind of like being half outside. There's a couch. There's another fridge, some storage over there. And then you walk out here and you get the light view. Walk over here. And it's the dock. Got a little boat. The lake is really, really cold, but we always manage to get it. So here is the TV room, his beautiful couch. Then you come around here and you have bedroom number one with two single beds. And then you got a cute bathroom. And you walk along and this is just like storage. And then this is the master. Bigger bedroom, 